Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get a free online hosted 24-7 Minecraft server. Once again, for free. So yeah, it's free and anything that comes for free is not you know the same quality as if you pay for it. So with that being said, there are gonna be a couple drawbacks, a couple setbacks to having this. And it's gonna be on this website called Eternos. But yeah, it's pretty cool. You can actually run a, you know, a free Minecraft server hosted online with this. So, but like I said, it has a couple setbacks, which you're gonna see as we go through the process. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to this website that's in the description. So you wanna scroll down, just you know, click anywhere that says get yours now or you know, sign up or whatever. And then you're gonna to have to sign up for an account. Okay, I'm using an ad blocker. So go ahead and fill in your information, click the verification and then click the sign up button. So after you sign up, you're gonna to have to go to your email, click the link that verifies that you're, you know, you're actually using your email and then it'll bring you to this. So this is my server. You can find it at the top tab right here. And yeah, so this is your server. So if we scroll down, we can choose the version. We have vanilla, we have mod packs as well. You know, all that all that good stuff. You can also download the current world, upload your world, back it up, reinstall, start it up obviously, and then the IP address, which you can change the beginning part. You can't change that because you know, you're getting a free server. You don't have that ability. You can change the slots. So uh, let's go with two. And then whitelist, whether you want that, premium or credit players, adventure, survival, creative, message of the day, difficulty, all that stuff you can, you know, how you usually would change it, you can change. So if you want to go to spigot instead of vanilla, you can click plugins, click spigot. You also have bucket as well. If you want to use that, I'm going to go with spigot. That's my favorite. I'm going to go with 1.10.2 and then I'm going to click install. So this is how you install your server. It's going to stop. Now it's installed. Sweet. All right. So we can go ahead and start it up. Go ahead and start it. We agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff. All right. So now it's starting up. All right. So this is one of the drawbacks I was talking about. When you start it up, you have your put in a queue because there's other people waiting to run the server and this website only allows a certain amount of free servers ran at a time. Also, one of the other drawbacks is you can only have a certain amount of slots. All right. So after I'd say about one or two minutes, actually, we are finally online. Alrighty, so zero have two players. Um, the thing about this is, if there are no players online or using the server, then the server will stop, and that's honestly kind of understandable. Because if you're not using their server, which the, you know they're paying and producing for, then why would they have it up? So we'll be stopped in approximately four minutes unless someone joins, and that's what this question mark will tell you. And that's also the other thing: you can, you have to fill every slot. So that's a little bit. That's kind of the part I don't like. I feel like it doesn't, it shouldn't be, have to be every slot. But yeah, so if you have three slots, then three players will have to be online or the countdown, you know. So let me go ahead and join the server. All right, so we are finally in our own server. Let me back out and actually show you. I join the Eterno server right here, zero out of two. You join in. Bam. Free Minecraft hosted online server. Technically 24 seven, but not, I mean, not exactly 24 seven. So correction to what I was saying earlier, you don't need every slot filled. You can have up to one free slot remaining. So let's say you have three slots. If you have two players on and there's one free slot remaining, it will still work. You know, the time won't tick down. But as soon as you leave, the timer continues. So it's a little strict, but it's fair at the same time. So back up here, if you go to files and plugins, that's where you can upload your own plugins and stuff like that. So. That's pretty cool as well. Let's go back to my server and let me leave real quick the Minecraft server. And as you guys can see, the countdown resets at one. And um, before I actually joined, it was at 30 seconds. So yeah, with that being said, guys, you can set mod packs, which is really cool. I know it's a little bit difficult to create those kind of servers, but with this, you can do that as well for free. And yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. If this helped you out in any way, make sure to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more tutorials. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.